Uh, cap grass syndrome then. Cap grass syndrome or cap grass syndrome. Prosopagnosia. Prosopagnosia. And uh, if we have time, Fregoli syndrome. Fregoli syndrome. Now, these are, we, we've been talking about kind of case studies, and these are all, again, disorders of perception that give rise to this idea that there are different pathways in the brain that run different things. Uh, and and th these give us surprising, uh, th these lead to surprising conclusions that are perhaps counterintuitive about the way that the brain works. And we'll see that these all have something to do, in some sense, with, with recognising our mothers. So let's say that this is our mother, this is her hair, and this is her dress, and her arms. So we, we, we could ask, you know, what does it take to recognise a mother? What do we need in order to recognise our dear mums? So, I mean, what are each of these syndromes? In Capgrass syndrome, a person, um, they, they can recognise that this is their mother's face. They say, this looks like my mother, but it is not. There is something amiss. This must be an imposter. And that is the, the general condition of Capgrass syndrome. You may have heard of these people who believe that their entire families have been replaced by imposters. And this can actually happen with, with things like their house or their car. They can say, this looks like my car or my cat or such, such but it's not. It's, been, it's an imposter that looks exactly like them. They've been replaced by a doppelganger. In protopagnosia, a person is happy to accept that it's their mother, but at the beginning they cannot actually recognise the face themselves. They look at the face, they might look at their own face and you know, go, who's that man over there? And they, they have to be told that it's actually... Um, it's actually a mirror and they're looking at themselves in a mirror this this uh, this story was recounted by, by oliver sachs who talked about it in his book i think the man who mistook his wife for a hat um this this prosopagnosia then is, is the inability to recognize faces but it's not it doesn't include this idea that a person is an imposter and that they're willing to accept that it's their mother once they're told or once they hear a voice or so on um and in Fregoli syndrome, we'll see that this is a case where, in fact, a person believes that, that many, many different people are the same person, but changing their costume or changing... The, so they might think that everybody is their mother. And we want to know why this is. Well, let's draw a, a bit of a diagram uh, that, that contains just three parts. This will be obviously insanely oversimplified, but let's say we have the eyes. We need the eyes to recognise mum because we need to receive those the photons that, that leave her face. Um, and then the eyes might be connected to two different systems that we're going to say for the case of this kind of um, video. We'll say that we have the fusiform facial area and we also have a secondary pathway that is unconscious, that's, that leads to the limbic system. The limbic, and this is the limbic system here, this part in the brain that consists of these, these elements. The limbic system, uh, and this seems to deal with emotional center, and perhaps these two are connected as well. Um, now, in, all, in prosopagnosia, it's the fusiform face area that is damaged, and this means that they cannot have the conscious experience of recognizing a face. It seem, but it, uh, it seems to be that they're because they're still able to recognise that is, this is their mother. And when um, some experiments were carried out to uh, uh, on what is called a skin conductance response, SCR, and this is similar to a kind of lie detector test where you have these unconscious skin responses um, and, and a, a galvanic skin response, I think they're called. And it seems that a person with prosopagnosia, even though they have no conscious recognition of the face, their body does respond kind of emotionally to them, to familiar faces. So they're, they're, they, they would have a, a galvanic a skin response to a familiar face, especially someone as close as their mother, over, say, the face of a stranger. Um, so there is still some unconscious sense of recognition. So even though this is damaged, there is still a connection to this emotive sense. So this might be why they're willing to accept that this person is their mother. Um, in Capgras syndrome, it, it seems to be that this is a mirror image of prosopagnosia. It could be that it's exactly the other way around. The fusiform face area that gives rise to the conscious experience of recognition is intact. 
So the person ha- says, you know, this looks just like my mother. I recognise that this face is identical to my mother's face, but it seems to be that perhaps the, there's a, the link between the fusiform face area and the emotive centre is severed, or perhaps the link between the visual information and the in the emotive centre is severed. There's some by some means the the emotion connected with our the the, the unconscious emotive response to to our mother in that case is severed and we don't get that feeling so even though we recognize the face we begin to have to ask you know this looks like my mother but why 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 am i getting this funny feeling it they just seem like a stranger there's this overwhelming emotive sense that this person is a stranger because there's an absence of this of this emotion feeling that we would normally get this unconscious emotive response and so we and that seems to give rise to capgrass syndrome so we have two syndromes arising from different combinations of disorder of 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 different um damage to different parts of this system which we need as a whole in order to recognize our mother now in the Fregoli syndrome i don't i mean this would be speculation now but what what could be happening we could speculate that it's perhaps that um the, the facial gyrus seems intact they can recognize faces fine um but the limbic system seems to be giving the same response to every face that they see so every person they see they go this is my mother she and and the explanation comes after them they go how can all these different faces be that of my mother it must be that she's changing her appearance somehow so th- th- we get this simple system of just kind of three parts um, and already we give rise to these, m- m- if we activate them in different combinations and in different ways, we get this this range of disorders. And again, there are many, many more, and there are many other systems that can involve themselves in these ways that we will look at. But again, this is just an interesting set of case studies that have been done on, on people with Capgras, prosopagdosia, and Fregoli syndrome, and a range of syndromes of this sort. Uh, just again, food for thought. I hope you find that interesting. I'll see you in the next video.